Hi everyone and welcome to another vlog. So today I am at the gym. It is quarter past nine in the morning, gonna go do the class, gonna go um, probably do another workout as well. Shower, go into town, all that kind of thing, but I'll take you along with us, so see what happens. So we just finished at the gym with Sakina. Do you wanna be in my vlog? Hey! <laughs> we did aerobics and then I we did, what did we do? Abs, we did abs. abs. Um, I'll abs. link. I'll link the workout we did down below, like I did in the other in the other vlog that I was talking about working out and stuff. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was really good. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we went in the sauna, and then we showered, got ready, did makeup. And now we've come to pick my mum up. Mum did come to the gym with us, but she forgot her towel, so she couldn't come to the sauna and everything. We <laughs> have a shower and stuff there, so she drove back home. And now we've picked her up. We're picking her up. I can't talk. I can't talk. We're picking her up and then we're gonna go and meet my younger sister in town for wedding dress shopping. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> wedding dress shopping. So that's exciting. So nice, I love so it. Beautiful. So beautiful. You're not going to see it until she gets married, though. She's already married, by the way. She's just having having a wedding. Yeah, <laughs> having a having a ceremony. It's going to be amazing. I'm Can't so wait. excited. <laughs> <laughs> so we are all done in the bridal shop. I can't believe you found your dress on the first time. Hello? That's amazing. Just on the phone. Oops. <laughs> um, I found the dress. But anyway, we are now headed to Damasina because we're going to go and have some brunch now. So hungry. now it is now 20 past four got home about hour hour and a bit ago just been chilling with the babies they're eating an ice cream a mini milk because they just want to is that nice <laughs> i just wanted to say assalamu alaikum to the lovely lady who came up to me in town today to say hello and it was just nice to that you actually came up to me and said hello because a lot of people don't they just message me on instagram later and say i saw you today i would wanted to say hi but i was shy but if you are shy just come and say hello because it's so nice when people do i am extremely 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 tired i if i put my head down i would fall asleep straight away i'm thinking about having a coffee but i'm too tired to make it so i can't be bothered but yeah, I don't really have anything else planned for today. I need to clean my house because it is upside down. Like, I'm not even joking. This sofa has been this messy for like three days. Is it finished? Can you put it in the bin? Put it in the bin? Oh, good boy. But it's just, everything is just everywhere and it's so frustrating. But I'm just too tired. I'm too tired to do anything. So I don't know if I'm going to. I'll probably do it later. And I got, I've got a really bad stomach ache as well. So I just cannot be bothered. I'm not going to do it. 
Good boy! Did you put it in the bin? High five! No? Hi everyone and welcome to another vlog. So today I'm at my mum's house for brunch. Every Sunday is brunch day, well almost every Sunday. But today I'm going to be showing you how to make my pancakes that I make. So many of you asked me for the recipe so I'm going to tell you exactly what that recipe is and I will also put it in the description in case you want to follow it from there. The amounts that I'm going to leave in the description feed about two to three people. It feeds me and my kids for breakfast if we have pancakes. But I'm making two lots because there's a lot of people but there are also other bits and pieces so I'm making two lots. The first thing I did was measure out 135 grams of flour twice. So I've got 135 grams times two. I'm not good at maths so I'm not going to tell you what that is. <laughs> what is 135 times two? So I've got 270 grams of plain flour in here. I don't actually have all plain flour to be honest. I've got a bit of self-raising because we ran out of plain. And then to this, I'm going to add two tablespoons per amount. So obviously I'm going to do four tablespoons. I can do that math. Four tablespoons of caster sugar. One, two, three, four. So four tablespoons of caster sugar. And then, I'm not actually going to use the full amount of baking powder, but you need one teaspoon of baking powder. Ooh. So I'm going to use a little bit less than one teaspoon of baking powder because obviously I've used self-raising flour as well. So with that, that's all the dry ingredients. So you just want to whisk that all together. When you whisk it, you don't have to sieve it because all the bumps and lumps get taken out with whisking. So I'm going to just whisk that all together. So it's all combined and that it literally takes about 10 seconds, less than 10 seconds. So then that is all the dry ingredients done. Now I'm going to measure out my milk. We need 130 ml of milk per amount that we're making. So it's going to be 260. Yay! I did maths. Um, okay, let's find 260. So this is a measuring cup with all the things inside. I have no idea where it's from. It's my mum. That is about 130, so I'm going to put that in. And then I'm going to measure the same amount. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. And then per amount, you need one egg, so two eggs. So I'm going to crack those into here. One. Ugh. Oh crap. Two. So, that's two eggs in there, and then I'm going to use this whisk, and I'm just going to mix that all up together, and then I'm going to add that into the flour again. I feel like that's a lot of milk. I don't even know if I used the right measurement, but I hope I did. It seems really runny. Is it? I don't know. Yes. Let, me, let me mix it all up together, and then we'll see. It, yeah, it definitely does. Oh, no. What did I do? You're confusing yourself. Oh man. I did it wrong. Oh, I used way too much milk. Oh, no. I think it's extra stuff. I'm not with this stupid thing. What is this? It's tots. <laughs> tots measuring thing. Where's the milk on? I'm sure I use milk. Oh no. Is it really, really bad? You're gonna, have, you're gonna have pancakes for days, Mum. You can take them. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? Just add some more flour and just you, you'll make it work. You put it in the kitchen like that. What a fail. <laughs> okay, I've got to fix this. You want the flour? This piece. Ta. So I made it really long for myself and did the measurements wrong, but if you follow the recipe down below, you will not do that. Um, so after you've got this kind of consistency, it should be not too runny, not too thick, it should be like this. You want to add two tablespoons of melted butter per amount that you're doing. So I'm going to put in four tablespoons of butter. <laughs> do you not put butter? I do, I've got a little bit of butter, I don't like it. Overload it. 
Gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> okay. And then mix that all together. And then your pancake batter is done. Yay! Now we gotta just cook them all up. So I always do a little bit more butter than I need and then I use this butter to fry the pancakes. So um, kitchen roll into, I fold it up into a square, I dip it in there and then I just swirl it around on the pan before I fry my pancakes, which I will show you exactly what I mean in a second. Let's move over to the cooker now. So I've got some kitchen roll and I'm just going to fold it into a square like this and then I'm going to like push it down like that so I've got a little handle. <laughs> That's how I um, do my butter, so I'm going to show you. Just want your butter in your little dish like this. I'm going to dip it in like that, you see it's got butter on it. And then, this is my pan that's heating up and I'm just going to rub the butter on the bottom so you've got a nice layer for the pancakes not to stick to. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> Today is not my day, I'm just having a weird day. Okay, so I've got a ladle and I'm going to use that to put my batter into the pan. So I'm going to remove the whisk now. I need this. You need what? So I'm just going to put them so that they don't touch, kind of estimate how much space you have. These are gonna cook until bubbles start to come on the top of them and then you'll know that they're ready to flip then. So these look like they're ready to flip. If you can see all the bubbles on them. And then they should be nice and golden at the bottom. Look like that, yay! I don't know exactly how you know how they're done, but what I like to do is just feel the top of them and if it comes up, like that, did you see? Like it comes up, I don't know, can you see that? It kind of just bounces back a little bit, that's how I kind of know that they're done. But then I just flip them to give them another few seconds on the other side. And then I think they're done. So what I do when I take them off is use a cooling rack, you can get these in Poundland. I just take them off and then stick them straight onto there because if you put them on a plate, then the condensation gets to them on them and they make, it makes them soggy. So you kind of just want to put them on there for now until you're ready to eat them. had brunch it was so this yummy is, is so and I these really guys are watching the most random thing ever <laughs> what are you what is he doing so we are playing <laughs> <head band. laughs> say hey <laughs> lovely <laughs> Okay, so it's a lot later now, like a lot later. It is 6.35 in the evening and I have come to the gym because honestly, I just feel like crap today, which is why I haven't picked up the camera and vlogged. And which is why I came to the gym because I thought if I come to the gym, it would make me feel better. Um, this lighting is awful, sorry. I'm not putting the light on because I don't want people to look in my car and see what I'm doing. But anyway, I'm gonna go have a workout and hopefully it'll be good. My shoulders and my hips and my back is killing from yesterday's workout. So I'm hoping that this one would be all right. I'm gonna do legs and stuff today, so hopefully it'll be fine. But yeah, I'll catch up with you after the gym. So I'm all done at the gym and yes, I do feel better. My body doesn't hurt as much anymore, which is crazy, but it's true. So I'm about to head home now. I don't think I'm gonna vlog anymore, so I'm gonna end the vlog now because I've been so bad at ending the vlog. 
and yeah I just I just did not feel like picking up the camera today which is why the vlog was so all over the place and a bit rubbish to be honest but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye